All right, we're starting off with this green smoothie bowl. It is super, super good. And first we start off with some frozen mango. Mine is from Trader Joe's. I struggle to open this. And then I added a cup of that and then some banana. Oh, <laughs> I dropped some. And then add a lot of spinach. This is what's gonna give it that green color. Some maca powder. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. Chia seeds, almond butter, cinnamon, and then some almond milk. Add less to make it thicker. Add more to make it thinner. And then I just went ahead and blended it. Mine was not very aesthetic at all. <laughs> and then I just put mine in my bowl. It turned out super thick and perfect. And then I added a bunch of yummy so, toppings. This breakfast is really good. Of course, you know, you have to mix smoothie bowls, oatmeal, anything like that. Because without it mixed, you're not getting all the flavors, you know, in one bite. I love putting pumpkin seeds on mine because one, you know, green smoothie bowl, green pumpkin seeds. And two, they add a teeny bit of protein and like some extra like texture. That's also why I like the cacao nibs. They're not sweet, but they do add some texture. So I love that. Here we live with granola. Always will be my favorite. So yummy. And it tastes like so sweet. Like you cannot tell if there's all the spinach in here because it's just so amazing. So on this day, I was really craving like chocolate and like chocolate milk. So I decided to make this like foam chocolate to add on top of my iced coffee. It sounds weird, but it tasted super, super good. And yeah. Yesterday, me and my mom went to Trader Joe's cookie. I got the caramel cashew barda bar. These have been super popular all over TikTok, over like YouTube. People always say like, oh, they taste like candy bars. And there's 20 grams of protein, no added sugar. Okay. I would say as for like packaging, nine out of 10, it's pretty cute. Maybe like eight, cause it's a little plain. As for like the protein, the sugar, that kind of thing, nine out of 10, that's pretty good. Ingredients get like a six out of 10. And then there's 13 grams of sugar alcohol, which I don't know that much about, but I don't think it's that good for you. So yeah. <laughs> Here's what the bar looks like. I'm gonna take a bite. So good. Like, like it just literally tastes like a candy bar. It's so yummy. So then Monday night, I just prepped some overnight oats for Tuesday, and I actually used a peanut butter jar just so that you know, reduce, reuse, recycle. And I spilled a bunch, of course. And then I added all of these delicious ingredients inside and. And it's just, it's so nice using a peanut butter jar because then you don't have to add extra peanut butter. It's bowl number two, of course. Then I tried to show you guys the oats. It didn't turn out. Um, but then, yeah, I just put it in the fridge for 12 hours and I enjoyed it in the morning. So, and then I made some oats for my mom and put those in the fridge. So the next morning, I poured all of the oats into a little container, heated it for a minute, and then I made some chia seed jam. I make this multiple times in the video or maybe just a couple times but um i really love chia seed jam it's really good then i aggressively cut this banana um and then i made my little jam added on top it looked amazing like honestly so good and then i ate with my mom me, 10 minutes before i have to go to class i about to take a shower anyways um i have to go really quick because i even want to wash my hair and i don't know if that's gonna happen so see you guys in a minute to make breakfast all right, guys, so of course we got the everything bagels from Trader Joe's to make my avocado toast on. Just cut the bagel and then I put in the toaster and then my camera fell. Yeah. All right, spot. so then my mom was teaching in the background, but I cooked my eggs. I just did two eggs in the pan, cracking them, you know, with precision. And then I got some eggshells in the pan. And then pepper, everything but the bagel seasoning. A coffee this morning, which is surprising for me. Then I added avocado on the bagel, more everything but the bagel, which was just so much. And then I went ahead and made my little iced, or not iced, hot coffee this morning, which again, very, very surprising for me. Also, guys, daily reminder, if you saw that, it was so good. Time to take a bite of my creation. This, this is amazing. Guys, Cooper's leaving me. It's time to do my work now, so I'm gonna go. I will see you guys tomorrow for Thursday. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm not wearing green, but um, I'm Irish.
marriage, if that counts. So, you know. All right, so for Thursday, I just decided to make these loaded oats. So we got chia seeds, you know, oats, almond milk, all of the usual ingredients, put it in the microwave for two minutes. And then while it cools, I worked on making this little berry compote type of mix. Um, I used a lot of microwave berries this week. I don't know why. But yeah, then I'm just showing you all of the toppings. A ton of toppings is essential for making good, delicious oatmeal. When I poured in the berries. The shot was just not aesthetic, so I'm sorry about that. Um, then I had pumpkin seeds and then rest of the hemp seeds, granola, and then some peanut butter because, of course, you cannot have oatmeal without some kind of nut butter. Then I went to go eat my breakfast very quickly before my first class. And coffee is a must, as it says right there. All right, so for the final day, I made blueberry baked oats. So the night before, I just prepped all of this. This recipe is from Trace's Oats on TikTok. Um, it's really good. He said it was like a donut oats recipe, but honestly, it turned out being more like a blueberry muffin oats, which I'm not mad about. 51. You can even see that. You probably can't, but that's okay. That red button at the top. See that red? Yeah. I just put about half of the batter in the bottom portion, and then now I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the jam in right now. You guys can't even see it, but I'm putting my layer of jam in right now. And the batter in. I'm gonna put this in the oven right now. This drink that I ordered tastes exactly like the um the shaken espresso thing i'll put it on the screen and it's two bucks less it would be three dollars less if you didn't get it shaken i recommend not getting the cinnamon powder because i got cinnamon powder on the top and it was just it's way too much cinnamon powder so that's kind of annoying and whatever drink you get always get light eyes they always put too much also i'm literally like chugging this it's so good i baked oats took it said it's supposed to take 15 minutes, but mine literally took 30 because they were all mushy in the middle. So that was really annoying. Keep getting them out, putting them back in, and I can't always leave because like I have to like be in class, you know what I mean?